they should hit but i just i mean like, they should connect it's just probably persisting enough with one that's gonna just go thank you come again <coughs> that's all right i'll let you go through first Like if they whack it, can you? That's it. Oh. This one. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one too. Can you get that net ready, please, man? Yeah. <coughs> what were you saying about barrows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mate, that thing there has seen some fish. I, <laughs> I only have 30 pounds. He's gonna come up again. Get ready. Watch this. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I've only got a 30 pound leader. Oh. Oh, no, there's nothing he's doing to bust you. No, over there. <laughs> where he's going. Yeah, where he wants to go, there is. He's a good fish. He's a good fish. <laughs> yeah, he'd be 70s. Did you get the light on GoPro? Yeah, I just turned it on and changed <laughs> battery, man. Heart's pumping, man. Heart is racing with these fish. Get the rod tip down to stop him from jumping. Oh, go easy, go easy, go easy. Come on, mate, come on. Please come into the boat, please. All right, a vertical with him. Leader's here. Nope, leader was there. Leader's now gone. <laughs> leader's now gone. Leader's here. Leader's gone. As soon as you see the boat, it's like, oh, I'm out of here. Fishing super light. Only got 30 pound leader here, so we've got to go really easy on this fish. But he's coming up. Oh, no, he doesn't want it. I'm pretty sure I've got like a kilo of drag, man. I'm fishing, I'm, my drag's as tight as you would if you're fishing for brim. He's a good one, buddy. Yeah, man. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, GoPro gear. That'd be 80, man, almost. Yeah, yeah, he's nice Very nice Give us some love, man. <laughs> yeah, good job. What? 20 minutes of a spot. To tell you once they hit it, they'll just jump straight out of the water. Fucking nice fish. Perfect hook up too. That's an 80. Has to be. Do you have a tape measure? No. Neither do I. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what we might do is I'll get you to hold the GoPro. Yeah, for sure. So I can. Righto guys, and I'll tell you what, we haven't been here for long, but we just timed it perfectly. It's halfway through the bottom of the tide. Um, and the moon phase is about to happen. And I said to Ryan, mate, like We've hooked three, well, I've dropped three fish, had three good hits, and I said, man, it's going to happen, it'll happen. And we were just talking, actually, and I said to him, I was like, I might need to switch out of the weedless to um, entice a better bite, but you don't really need to. Look at that, little chrome barra. Awesome fish on Western Salty, the shrimp. Yes, it's not there at the moment, but I was using that lure for the past probably 20 minutes. We haven't been here for long, but that's him there. What an awesome, awesome fish. Beautiful chrome on him, and some really, really, really yellow action happening on the tail but that is an awesome thick wide-bodied barra just such such a cool fish unbelievable such a great sports fish um i've got a few of these ryan's never caught a barra so the aim of the plan today or the game plan today is to try and get him a barra and a jack so stay tuned for that but we'll take a couple of happy snaps and um this this is this guy's lucky day we'll be letting him go all right guys photos are done we're gonna let him go great fish too pretty to kill give him a bit of a swim and um, she should be good to go. Such a fat fish, man. Such a sick. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's it. Time for Ryan to get on the board. Right, guys. So everyone that's asking how I'm rigging these Western Salty the Shrimp weedless, what I'm doing is I'm pulling the head forward 
to expose the built-in jig head and that comes out like that so I'm just left with the, the body pop the hook off it like that make a small incision like this make a bit of a gap then the eye of the hook goes through the plastic like that this is a 6-0 so 6 fits perfectly right in the first um, section of the prawn straight through there like that and then feed it through and then what I like to do is just tuck the hook point in just a smidge just to stop you from getting snagged and boom that's a fully weedless western salty the shrimp back on the hook and we're good to go Yeah, what I was asking before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the barrel, like if they strike something and they don't eat, like they don't get the hook connected. Yeah. Or even if it does, you like rough them on the inside, will they still feed you? Like the, the barrel will. So like, it's hard to say. It depends on the fish, I guess. Like I've had barra swipe at a surface or like doof, 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 same fish. Or I've had barra hit a lure and then just turn off and not come back. Yeah, okay, gotcha. It just depends on the fish, I guess. Yeah. Super hungry or not. But generally, if you have an entire school, like if you've got a school of 50 fish and nothing wants to eat, and then one eats, they say you've got a 15 minute window to maximize your opportunity in that in that time frame, because one fish will trigger all the other fish to feed. But what we have perfectly lining up now is the turn of the tide plus that moon. It's like, it's perfect. Like it's like ultimate feeding time. We haven't even really picked that sort of, oh. Hit that sort of time frame yet, I guess. We've hit the tide change, haven't we? Tide change has happened. Wait, not even yet, no. What time has tide changed? 9.51. <coughs> We're still in optimum time now. The hour before the change is the best. He hit it like here. Yeah, man, that's what... Mine hit it just here as well. All right, we're casting again. All we're doing is we're sitting in about four and a half meters of water. We're casting out letting the lure sink all the way to the bottom, making sure we're on the bottom because that's where the bar is sitting. And it's just a simple hop, hop, and then letting it sit. And the important thing is to let it sit on the paws because that's when the bar are going to hit it. Make sure your line goes slack, hits the bottom, and then hop it again. And that's when the barrows are going to smack it on that paw, on that drop, all the paws. Do you hear that? Like that, doof. that was a boof over there in the shallows. You know what else I'm liking about this now at the moment, because the tide change as well? We have a dirty water line. I think it's still running out, eh? Not sure. This feels by the way. Oh my! Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Are you ready? Yep. fish just because they might change then the transition period doesn't mean they won't eat right now like if we're hopping it over their face it doesn't really matter you know yeah, they're hungry, they're hungry. they'll eat it like the, the point of this is right now is like they're facing this way so you hop in the prawn into their face if they're facing this way and you hop it this way and it goes in front of them they're still going to go you know regardless they're still going to smack it but there we go that tide's turned now boat's turning around so we'll have to refine these fish Yeah, that's 
Yep, there's another. Oh, I don't think he's a very big fish unless he hasn't woken up yet. I don't even know if it's a barra yet, man. It could be a very small barra. Yeah, it's a barra. It's a barra. It's definitely a barra. <laughs> I'll bring him around. I'll try and bring him around. I just didn't want it to go over the phones and stuff. I'll bring him at the front. <laughs> we were just talking about having the change in the tide and having to transition because the boat's gone from one angle to the other. And when the water changes, the barrel obviously, well, when the water current changes, the barrel always sit head first. So we were just saying like, we're gonna have to move soon, but We'll give it a little bit longer just to see if we can still get some fish on it. And sure enough, here's another one. Not as big as the first one, but still a very, very nice barra on West Salty the Shrimp. Bomb is in. Nice. Good job, We're in it. We're in them. Double. Boom. Look at this. What's he doing? Prawn. That's what they're eating. So not as big as the first one, but this is number two, again on Western Salty, the shrimp right there, rigged weedlessly. Tell you what, we're on a bit of a hot bite right now, everything's lining up, the tide change is happening exactly when the moon phase is happening. So pretty much it's like a barrel smorgasbord. boy, there's neat tides, so this bugger all run, it is perfect for the creeks, and we're showing dividends. The next two hours, I think, we'll be on some really, really hectic, hectic fishing, I think, on barrows. Look at that, I'll try and get his spin up. There you go. He's probably late, oh, early 60s, I'd say. Nice fish, still legal, but again, he's gone back in the drink. Yeah, and he's gone back. All right, these little guys probably don't need as much coaxing in the water. They're ready to go straight away, like that. Cool, thanks, man. <coughs> I'll tell you what, this is turning out to be a pretty wicked little session. That's two for me in the matter of 10 minutes. Ryan's had a couple of hits, but it's going to happen for him. I know it will. Just casting. Throwing 30 pound leader, there's a saying it's about fish like at the bite. And sometimes you lose a lot of fish doing it, but it could sometimes be the difference between getting those bites and not. So I'm fishing very, very, very light drag to ensure that they don't rub through, but at the same time, Got to be careful they don't break me in the snags as well. But it's enough talking. I'm going to fix my prawn. This is what's left of Western Salty the shrimp. Good thing about it is it's pretty durable. So all I got to do is straighten it up and just good to go again. We're going to keep casting and catch another one. Actually, just quickly, 30 pound leader. Guys, I'm chasing barra with them. Check and double check after every hit and every fish because barra are an implosion feeder. So what that means is when they hit the bait, they suck it deep into their mouth. And because they don't have teeth, but they've got what's like raspy lips, like sandpaper, and they rub your leader up like crazy. So it might take 10 seconds out of your fishing to change the knot and check your leader, but it's worth it so you don't lose that next big fish. And Ryan's next to catch one. Stay tuned. Casting anymore, mate? Who's in that drag, man? Who's in that drag? Let him run, let him run, let him run, let him run. Let him run. Is it too loose there? I'm up there. Careful, careful, let him just watch it down if he jumps. <laughs> Super light, and I'll net him as fast as I can, I promise. <laughs> come on, come on, go, go. Uh, I'm on. <laughs> I'm filming. Oh, I got it, Let him go. Just go easy. We've got time. We've got time. We've got time. We've got to get this to the boat, bro. So help yeah, me. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll be the best net drop I've ever seen in He's a good size.
Yeah. Underwater. Right about that snag that's like right under the boat. What's that? What's that? Oh. So soft on the drag. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it. Is that leader? No. Nah, it's, just a, it's new, oh, nearly leader. I can see him, I can see him. Keep him coming, you're right. He's right, just don't rush this part. You got it. Come around this way. Yes! <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, finally. That is a start. Oh, look at that. Perfectly hooked too. Look at Keep that. that in there. <laughs> that <is a> First <laughs> barra, bro. That oh, start, man. That's epic. On the job. Look at that. So that's Weston Salty the Shrimp sitting on a school of barra. Is this, this is your first, isn't first it? First ever barra. Yeah. And ever. after a couple today and then losing one right beside the boat, jump it off. That is epic. How heavy do you reckon? Oh, he's got a bit of weight to him. He's yeah. pretty fat, eh? Look at like, the thickness on the shoulders of that fish, man. He's healthy as, too. So healthy. That's such a sick fish. About the same size as the one from the small. I reckon fish. yours is bigger. I honestly, I do. It's we'll pop the prawn size. out. Pop the prawn out. Oh, oh, twist. And then put him on the measurement here. Bigger. It's right on there. Yep, right so he's, he'd be a centimetre more, man, because mine was on that mark. So that's the measurement, so we can show you guys later. Oh, yeah. We're measuring from that point there to this will be a touch over. Mine was on the money there. This one's a bit bigger, so it'd be about a centimetre bigger, I'd say. <coughs> nice fish, man. Release on this side. Oh, All right, man. A couple of quick photos and send him back. She's good to go. Right. First, First bar. Bar. Sick. So nice good. fish, man. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back at the house after a freaking mad day. One thing I really wanted to work on was trying to find fish that were one, schooling, and two, trying to figure out how to make them feed. And there's a few ways you can do it, obviously, time on the water, but also talking to people that have these little like one percenters that you might not have thought of yet. Like, for example, I was fishing with a mate the other day who explained to me about the moon phases and stuff like that and people have mentioned that to me before but i haven't really taken it on board 100 percent so to actually put that into play and see it come off was pretty freaking special now i just want to jump in the boat quickly to show you guys the measurements that we were talking about so from here to there is exactly 74 centimeters from there to there so if with my barra, my barra came in right there, and that was exactly 74 centimeters. Ryan's is a little bit bigger, so his came in at 75. So for him to tick off that first um, barra and a 75 centimeter model like that is pretty freaking awesome. Um, I'll leave his Instagram below. The guy's a mad fisherman, absolutely slays fish, so make sure you give him a follow. But after all that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, leave a comment for what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.